Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's explore the question, what is thermal resistance? And the best way to compare it is to electrical resistance. Now some of us may be familiar with simple electrical circuits where we have resistors in circuits, they are in series, and we have a battery which is driving current through the circuit. And notice that the current in the circuit is equal to the ratio of what drives the current, which in this case is the voltage, divided by the sum of all the resistances. Again, because the resistors are in series. So how do we compare that to heat flow? Well, here we have heat flow due to conduction. Notice that we did not take into account the flow of heat because of convection on either side of the window. Now notice this is a window with two panes of glass and air in between. They call that double pane windows. And notice that the equation, Q dot, the amount of heat per unit time traveling through the window, is equal to the difference in the temperature. And our new puppy is noticing something. He's protecting us, or she's protecting us. Anyway, continuing on. So here, notice that the difference in the temperature is analogous to the difference in the voltage across the battery and across the resistor. So that's what's driving heat through the window. This is what's driving current to the circuit. And then it's divided by these three terms, which is analogous to the resistors, the resistors in the circuit there. In other words, these are what we call the thermal resistance to the heat flow. The more these terms you have, the greater the resistance to the heat flow. And notice, since the layers are in series and the heat has to travel through it in series we can then add the what we call the thermal resistant term in series as well just like we do in the circuits now when we go over here we also need to take into account the resistance to the heat flow due to convection on either side of the window they of course depend upon the transfer coefficients on the inside and the outside relative to the glass and notice that simply adds two more resistance terms thermal resistance due to the heat flow due to conduction on the inside and due to the heat flow to the conduction outside it still has the other three terms that are associated with the two layers of glass and the layers of air in between again the driving force would be the difference in the temperature the greater the difference the greater the heat flow the greater the voltage the greater the current so everything is very analogous to that kind of system and that is what we mean by thermal resistance in heat flow.